Hey besties. So this is something that I got inspiration from, from Cricut Access. I wanted to do something where I can put a label on a soda can. So I just went on a search and I found this, which was actually a Valentine's Day card that was in the form of a soda. So I went ahead and customized it to fit my theme and this is what I came up with. I will go over with you guys a few items that you'll need for this project and then we'll get in right into the video. So you'll need a tape dispenser, any kind will do. You'll need straws. You don't necessarily have to use the cardboard straws, but these are pretty cheap. They're from Dollar Tree, probably like 20 of them for a dollar. Um, you'll need cardstock. You'll also need a piece of either cardstock or paper here for the back. It doesn't have to be cardstock. It can be regular copy paper, but for your actual label, you will need cardstock because it does have to, you know, withstand the straw and not, not tear. So to start this project, I'm going to go to my Cricut Access. And then I'm going to go here to search and I'm going to type in soda. I'm going to choose this one here. It's going to show you here everything that you need to accomplish this particular project. However, I'm going to customize it and I'm going to change it to fit my party. So I'm going to go back and into my projects and I'm going to go to customize. So I can show you basically how I customized mine. A few things to note here is that you can actually customize these to whatever size you want. I made mine 3 inches by 4 inches. There is a smaller one that I did that's actually 2.5 by 3.5 and that was for the smaller thinner can I that I did. I will put all the measurements below in the description box but I will go ahead and proceed with customizing my soda label. So the first thing that I want to do is click on the background and I want to make it a print and I want to change it to a pattern. Then I'll change this little swirly thingy. I want to change it to something light, something that will match my doll. Maybe something pink. Okay, I'm going to add my little unicorn. Now what I'll do is I'm going to highlight everything from here on. And I'm going to flat. Once I do that, I'm going to move this to the back. And then you'll see these lines here, your score line and your cut lines. Now that I see that, I will highlight everything and then click attach. We'll go ahead and click make it. And this is how my images are going to print and then cut. Okay, so I basically, I did two different sizes of um, these. So these are the larger size that I'm going to use on the bigger can. So this can that I'm using is actually a beer can. This is all that I had um, left in the form of a, you know, a regular size soda can um, since we don't really drink that much soda here in my house so these were left over from a party so I wanted it to be able to cover the whole portion of um, you know basically of the can this whole portion
I'm gonna show you guys how to do this if you do not have a cutting machine, like a Cricut or a Silhouette or any of those other machines. You're basically, just use a ruler to make sure that everything lines up. If not, your straw is gonna be kinda weird. So, you basically take, and you go about maybe a centimeter and a half down, okay? And then you do that same thing at the bottom, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and make two hole punches. Make like, make it a little bit bigger than the actual hole. So just kind of go around the outside to make sure your hole is gonna be big enough for the straw. So I'm doing that twice. Okay, and then on the bottom part of it, you're gonna go towards the bottom of the circle. Make a line and then do another line down. Okay, okay. so now you have your piece like this. And then do the same thing here on the top. Okay, so now you have both pieces. So you you guys can do this if you don't have a Cricut. You just, you know, it'd be more work because you're manually cutting it and you have to do the measurements and the punches and all that. But it's something that can be done if you do not have a Cricut. Now, if you just wanted to do a soda wrap and you had like say Microsoft Word, you're just gonna use these dimensions, 8.5 by four, and then you can decorate it however you so choose. Let's say I want to go here. I'm gonna go to print, to patterns, Let's make it sparkly. I'll go to my uploads. Now here I'm just going to match up my images together and then I will slice. Okay, so that's basically how you would do uh, you know, basically the same things if you had Microsoft Word or you were, if you were using any other software, you're just going to make your measurements about 8.5 by 4, but just, of course, do a test print and cut just so you know you're getting the right measurements before you print out, you know, 20 of them and they're too big or too small. I'm going to print out this one and just do one of these just so you can see how it will look just doing the soda wrap and you can do these for graduations for parties you could put the person's face on there you know whatever you want so i'm gonna go ahead and flatten this and then i'll get it printed so here is my um label that i printed up it got a little bent up because i put it on my strong grip mat so I'll go ahead and tape these sides. So this is how it will look. Just make sure you do a roll of tape down each side. That way it's adhering to the can as well as adhering to the paper. So now it's not going to move or, you know, do anything pretty much.